Hey guys, in this video here on Cytos Factory, I am going to help and teach you about the first steps you can take when you first unlock oil and how to organize your stuff. Now, don't worry about getting a nice crappy node of, you know, weak oil that I'm using right here. So I got these things. That's all you really need for your first steps into plastic and rubber. And then you go into your refinery. So what are you going to do with all of this extra fuel? And what are you going to pick for your things? So there's lots of recipes here. And if you don't have any water around like I do, um, and I don't want to, you know, make a huge, big, complicated lines just to get water over here and, you know, use the plastic the other way and get fuel to do stuff. I can't do anything with fuel because the power plants aren't unlocked yet and you have to wait forever to get like 100 computers made and you just unlock them. So yeah, you're going to start off with using the extra fuel here, the residual, ugh, res talk slower, residual fuel, if I can't even say that slower. Okay, use the residual fuel, you know, to make your rubber or make your plastic. Now, each of these refineries will go at a different rate. For rubber, you're getting 20 per minute. 20 parts per minute for rubber and plastic will be 10 is half that so you got to deal with these and you don't need to make them uh, combined lines and stuff like that just something small and simple to deal with it there's an overflow uh, deal the thing right there to do with some extra stuff if you need to and flush it out and I have a rubber going up to my next level but yeah so you, you what you do with it is the basic another refinery here and you turn it into the petroleum choke you can't really use this at the moment so i have it going up to some storage containers and saving it for later because you know it might be very useful for later on when you get into aluminum and stuff and you can put a smart splitter on your storage containers and have it go into an awesome sink and get a whole bunch more tickets that you want to get for later on and that's how you can deal with this so this is running perfectly at the uh, current weak node that i'm having and using two refineries and this is 40 per minute right here and if this was plastic this would be 20 per minute which means you can run this at half the speed so if you're doing this the same thing for a plastic line you can just uh use your clock speed here and cut it by 50 percent so you can just cut this by 50% for a plastic line and that will deal with all the heavy oil residue and it'll save you a lot of power because you'll be using 10 power instead of 30 power. Nice and handy for that. Now the next step is, here's my plastic line on another crappy, the crappiest oil nodes in the game. I'm using those up and they were really helpful because I wanted to get my plastic and stuff done so I slapped this down and I figured, hey, I'm having a problem here with all this extra stuff. What am I going to do with it? And so I think, hey, no, who else is going to have this problem? Pretty much anybody who's first starting this game. So the plastic right here. These two refineries are both producing it. And as you can see, it's 10 per minute. So the maximum here is 20 per minute. And you want this, you know, at your regular speed. So I have my plastic going out of here into a three-way splitter and only one third of that I want going into my packer. So when you unlock your packer in your jetpack, which is a simpler unlock, and you want to use that, you can cut off just one third and then I have it all, I have all the rest of it merging together to go into my plastic storage and my uh, areas that I need my plastic to. So just one third of the one line can come in here and that is fast enough to deal with all the residual, residual fuel. So you get this heavy oil residue that you're using right here and you have it at you know the 20 parts per thing and you got to stick it into your other refinery here and there it is right there and as you can see i don't need to run this at 100 percent i can run this i use the uh, to get the exact 20 parts per minute that the uh, two refineries over there are producing of this residue i stuck this at 33.3334 percent and I, I i did put the 33.3 parts per minute in there the 13.33 but the percentage was a little bit off and it was at 19.9 percent and i decided hey i'm gonna put that in there and that's what i got <laughs> so uh yeah, yeah either way it doesn't matter if you worry about the one percent but i like the nice even number and look makes it look better and this is all the fuel that you really need if you're just going to be if you don't have any uh you know power plants unlocked yet and you want to make your packed fuel so that one third of that plastic line is easily more than enough to feed this line because I only need 6.6 .6 parts per minute type deal. So this thing is also running at the 13.33 parts per minute underclocked. It uses way like a ton less power and this is all I need because that is all the output is 
for the fuel. So the fuel goes into the package container here and it comes coming in at that 13.3 and it's coming out as the packed fuel at 13.3. But yeah, the thing is, so, so you can, so that was an easy setup to put this to 13.332 to underclock it. So everything here is underclocked for the output after what you're using. So I'm maximizing my plastic that I'm getting, which is what you really want, and minimizing all the power usage for the stuff like the fuel that you don't really need very much of. And uh, if you're worried about, hey, you're only producing a little bit, this is it's all you need. If you end up start producing a whole bunch of this stuff, you're going to have to just sit there and put it into an awesome sink and get rid of it all, which is, of course, another option. But when your output from just, if you only have the one small oil node, this is how you can use it effectively without, you know, wasting power and wasting a whole bunch of stuff because you don't have an awesome power supply yet, do you? You'd have to use a whole bunch of coal things yet. You don't have it, uh, all the uh, nice uh, oil power plants unlocked. So that is how I deal with it and I hope this helps you out with something simple to do on crappy oil nodes at the start when you first unlock them and how to deal with all the extra overflow and not having it constantly getting shut down because you have all that residue of fuel sitting in your lines and you have to use it up and you don't want to make a whole bunch of those either but you can I hope this helps you out and uh, thanks for watching and uh, in my next video I am going to explain how to use when you actually do unlock your power so your, your power supply here when you do unlock your fuel generators these things are pretty big and you actually have your computers up and running and you're ready to use them I'll show you how to organize those and overclock the crap out of them and make it really effective use of them really good use of the power slugs and I'll show you that next video so thanks for watching